Everything I'm about to say, you already know what to do. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, money to social economics, status, politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in the world order that you should snap down your purpose. Wona, wona, wona. Brother Kush, a.k.a. the Black Alpha. Look, man, I'm going to continue to go down this rabbit hole just a little bit longer dealing with this Jay-Z situation. But I want to throw in Young Thug in there based on the comment that somebody left me. You know what I'm saying? One of these dudes that want to talk about what Jay-Z Jay should be doing with his money. But this dude will get nothing but hate from his kind. Now, he, this same dude, I'm going to show you his comments. This same dude talking about what Jay-Z should be doing. Talking about he ain't built a hospital. Him and LeBron. Man, it's easy to do that when you don't have the money, bro. But what would you do if you came out of poverty and clawed your way to the top? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you received nothing but hate on your way to the top. And now that you're at, at the top, the same niggas that hated on you now talk about what you need to do with your money. What would you do with your money? I mean, you, I mean, just what would you do? We got to be a little more realistic, man, about how we deal with things. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Let me get right into it. And first thing you see is this, this, this thumbnail I put up. That quote from the song Reminder. But Jay-Z talking about when he was on the back of that album cover with that red and blue Gucci stuff on it. The, the pictures are actually online. Jigga was 19 on this picture. This before he met Dame and all this stuff. So, I mean, he was doing something, bro. You know, all y'all dudes want to try to rewrite that man's life and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was doing something, you know. But let's get right into it, man. But let me say this before I get started. I'm not a Jay-Z fanboy. As I said in the other video, man, part one of this, uh, but I'm not here to co-sign nobody. I'm not here to try to rewrite nobody's story. The reason why I'm taking this on is because, again, like the other video I did, I have a personal stake in this here. You know, just like I said in the last video, I know what it's like to have people try to tell your story or rewrite your story or, 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 or deny your story or take other people, you know, I know what that's like, man. That's not that, that's not cool, you know what I'm saying? But I also know what it's like to have these people online. Whereas every time they frame an argument talking about Pookie and these these thugs, they they talk about them in such a broad way as to include every dude that has ever ran the streets. And it's just not so. There are types of people out there, bro. Just like there are types of people everywhere else, man. Every other lifestyle. Everybody in street life is not the same. And y'all know this, man. It's just a straw man argument. It's, it's the way to demean certain types of brother by putting up the images of other brothers. You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason why I'm using um, Young Thug in this because of this, this, this first comment this dude made. <clears throat> And as you can see right there, um, let me take my big head off it. You can see what he said in the very first comment. He said, um, now the question on the video was, did Jay-Z lie about his life in his lyrics? And this dude said, of course he did, or he would be in prison on RICO charges. He spelled RICO like it's a proper noun. I guess he don't, he don't know it's an acronym, actually. It's not, it should have been all capital letters, you know what I'm saying? Or either all small, but I mean, to capitalize the R and the rest of it small it only tells me that he deliberately wrote it that way, which means he don't even know RICO is an acronym and not a proper noun. But anyway, you notice what I said. Say that's not true, man. I know a lot of cats that made out the game free and clear. You know, I tell him you need to listen to the video. Then I go, go on to say, but I know you talking about what's happening with Young Thug and those dudes. Those dudes give details on deletions. They give details on, 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 on homicides. You know, Jay talked about hustling and street life in a general sense. You know, he never gave no... In Look, you don't give the kind of details that an investigator can use to solve a case. Any dude that would get his ass on, 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 in, a, in, a, in a video booth, in, a, in, in a, um, a music booth, any dude that would take his ass to a music booth, and basically snitch on himself needs to be in prison. You don't you you don't do that, man. You don't go in there and and and, and talk in depth 
about things that have no statutes or limitations on it. You just don't do it. I will never do that here on this channel. I have plenty of stories I can tell that involve violence, but I ain't telling that shit. Now that I ain't gonna recant. I'll tell some general shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk about some shit in general, but I'm not about to. I'm not about to go into detail on that, man. Y'all gotta be out of y'all minds to do that. Anybody do that needs to be locked up for the rest of his damn life. You stupid. And I disagree with all these rappers like Fat Joe talking about we need to protect our rights to our art. That's not art, bro. You don't give the type the type of details that 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 police investigators can use to solve a murder. If you talking that specific on your music, they need to be able to use that against your dumb ass. See, drug dealing is hustling, but it's a, it's a different type of thing, man. First of all, there's really no way to prove you sold dope. That's the first thing. You could talk about selling dope from now to the end of time. You know what I'm saying? If they don't catch you with no drugs, they really can't put nothing on you. They can try, but I mean, it won't work. But if you talk about murders, man, you going to prison, bro. You going to prison, bro. Now, what this dude decided to do after I G-checked him on that, right? He came back. Let me get my head off this before I post this up. He came back with another one, right? And <clears throat> this is what he now. This is where I want to go with this this talk. This this is where I really want to talk about. He said, all of these dudes, let me turn this music down, man. He said, all of these, all of these dudes are clowns. All these dudes are clowns glorifying, destroying the black communities. Here we go with this shit. Jay-Z hasn't built one supermarket, hospital, bank, or anything that to uplift the black, black Americans. Just talk and narcissism. All these dudes do is talk. Okay. And you see what my response to that is. Talking about what you had to do to survive isn't glorifying anything, my brother. Now, I'm going to stop there, bro, because, you know, y'all see the thing on, on, on the thing. I'm going to leave it up there for just a second while, while, while I cook on it. I'm going to stop there. Part of these dudes' problem is that they want to be too self-righteous. Because I actually had somebody tell me this before, talking about, you know, uh... Why are you bragging about street life? You know, why are you bragging about what you did to the black community, you know, and, and all this, this stuff? And I was like, who says I'm bragging? Me telling you what I had to do or what I've been through, nigga, that ain't bragging. You just mad because you don't have no stories. You mad because you never took your car with ass off the porch. You mad because your bitch ass was too scared to take a chance out there. So you want to try to shame the men that actually went out there and tried to make a way for themselves. And now they have a story to tell because of what they went through. You want to hate on them and try to make it seem like they're glorifying, destroying the black community. Nigga, the black community has been destroyed already. Y'all tend to forget the reason why we do what we did is because we grow up in an environment where our options are limited. Didn't Jay-Z say that in the song too? When your options are none and the pen is all you have? Nigga standing tight as lemons on the ass. You know, on the Ave Avenue, you know, on the block, niggas standing tight as lemons on the Ave. I mean, then he said that when your options is none and the pen is all you have. He's telling you that, that you grew up in an environment where you have very few options. You do what you got to do. Y'all might go one way. Somebody might go that way. Other people might go that way. But it's still your choice. It, it, it's how you roll. But when you in, when you get through it, if you survive and you tell the story of your journey, that is not glorifying anything. That's telling what you did. And I continue, I said, it's his life experiences. And are we not the only, I mean, I say, and we are not the only people that do things to survive. That's another thing. Y'all ain't like, we commit to all the crime. Say, but y'all pro-blacks make me sick, bro. For real, for real. Y'all pro-black cats make me sick, man. Y'all are some of the most toxic motherfuckers we got in the black community, bro. And nobody check y'all because y'all come wrapped in a cloth of being pro-black and proud black. But y'all can't y'all can't stand being black. Y'all hate yourselves. Y'all hate your realities. Y'all hate the, the, the racist structure of America. You know, and y'all don't hate it because, you know, you anti-racism and nothing like that. You hate it because you you can't really move among white folks like you really want to do. Most of you cats wanted to do nothing but get away from niggas. Your, your, your whole life coming up, you just 
you you just you just imagine a day when you could finally get away from black people and you go through college you get them degrees and do everything the right way and then you still get held back by what by, by the racist structures of, of of america so then you come back to the black community but now you got an attitude because you're forced to be around people that you don't want to be around and even worse you think you're better than them so when you when you argue you start to create all these straw man arguments where you talk about wild little cowboy mofo type niggas and you talk about them in a broad way to include every brother that just did something to try to get ahead it don't work that way bro if you did federal time you would know they, they got all kinds of people in there all kinds bro you'd be surprised at how normal the average so-called criminal really is i'm talking about dudes that just go out there trying to make money i ain't talking about dudes that rob liquor stores or nothing like that you know candy store i'm not talking about these kinds of dudes i'm talking about dudes that just out there really trying to make money you'd be surprised at how normal a lot of these cats really are you know so anyway i say the worst criminals are those like jeff bezos and bill gates uh-huh see niggas don't like that you know he never commented again after this one niggas don't like that you know they, 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 this killed it i say the things they do delete millions and destroy entire countries this is real talk you are blaming those born in situations for trying to survive it that's not fair we don't need supermarkets we need a way out of this madness and to be honest money is not the way out though it certainly will help now everything i said on that is true that nigga got royally roasted but i want to talk about what's wrong with this narrative i want to talk about the differences in these kinds of people because you know when they try to make it sound like all street dudes are like it's a straw man argument it's levels to this stuff bro and saying that a man that's only sharing what he had to do to get ahead is him glorifying destroying the black community that's the, that that's just that's just being dishonest and besides jay-z didn't already apologized in his own songs for what he felt like he did which something i disagree with him on personally I, I don't apologize for my past i did what the fuck i had to do i ain't never make nobody smoke nothing to buy nothing they ain't want you know what i'm saying and this notion that you sell to, to children and shit i ain't never seen a kid scoring out there on the set never spent years out there hustling i ain't never seen a child scoring you know what i'm saying never seen it i never really seen a pregnant but i know y'all saying about the pregnant because all of these we got all these crack babies that's true you did have that but me in my in my actual personal reality i never seen a pregnant chick scoring i never seen it i'm just telling you about my personal life i never seen it and i can tell you one thing i wouldn't have gave nothing to a pregnant chick see i had a cold when i was out there bro so to make it sound like all of us is just the same it's, it's, it's just misleading it's just misleading which is probably why i never seen pregnant chicks out there scoring because you know a lot of dudes when i was coming up on the set i come from a lot of them cats simply would not have sold to a pregnant chick they just wouldn't have did it you know they wouldn't have did it so so to make it to sort of put all us in one category it's not fair you know dudes like young thug man that the things they do and and the way they, they the way they talk about how they live they are actually glorifying dumb shit all we want to do is ball out man make money and live in peace get us some hoes man chill there is no way we'd have been on the levels they on and we'd have been starting beef with rival people these dudes are getting their heads knocked off man these these young rappers they getting spanked left and right man because they out there starting beefs with other gangs when they don't have that to be doing there's something wrong with these dudes man these dudes are cowboys bro and the truth be told they're getting just what they deserve they, they, their violence is spilling over into into the civilian world nah man you, you don't, don't put that on people like us man don't 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 try to conflate this thing as, as though we are all doing the same thing man that's that's dishonest it's misleading and quite frankly bro it's insulting bro it's insulting these kinds of dudes man like these young rappers today bro i don't know what time they on they dress weird i mean they don't act like they come from the ghetto I mean, look, 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 look at these images of Young Thug, man. 
I mean, what nigga you know dressed like that, bro? Now, I know that outfit Jay-Z got on look crazy, but that's how we dressed in the 80s, believe it or not. You know, it was jogging suits, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you had Christian Dior. You, you, you had um Troop jogging suits, Christian Dior. You had Adidas jogging suits. Uh, had MCM. You know what I mean? you had It was just jogging suits back there, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's that's just how we dressed in the 80s. I know it, it does look kind of crazy looking at it now, but that's how we dressed in the 80s, bro. You know? But my point is, man, these dudes are different, man. These are different types of dudes, you know, cut from different types of cloth. And when, when, when y'all trying to make these self-righteous, you know, arguments, you pro-black Negroes, what y'all doing is y'all being misleading, y'all being disrespectful. You know goddamn well Young Thug and Jay-Z types are not the same. Not even close. You know, I remember I told one of my, one of my, um, I almost slipped up and said what it was. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm cut it short. Somebody close to me, right? And I was telling him, because he, he, he's like the young thug type generation, you know? And I remember telling him, say, bro, you know the truth of the matter, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but love for you. I said, but we wouldn't even fuck with a dude like you when I was coming up. You know, you could even hang around us, bro. Because you, 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 you too, you're too wild, man. You know, you, you know, we was about money and hoes, man. Money, hoes, mo money, cash, hoes. You know, we was about money and hoes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we, we, we got money and got bitches, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all dudes want to fight all day. Y'all want to look for somebody to shoot, rob. You know, we wasn't about all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Every bit of violence, like, you know, me getting shot and stuff. Every bit of violence that I've been in, bro, it was brought to me. Or, or, or it was it was situational. You know what I'm saying? We didn't go out there looking for that kind of stuff, bro. We just, we wanted to just get our, get our money and get some hoes. But these young dudes, they, they think that being wild is some type of badge of honor. They go out there want to challenge everybody, and that's why they did. They, they, that's why they don't live long. This is why they get knocked off, bro. This is why they all in the penitentiary because their priorities are all wrong. We understood why we was in the streets. They don't. They don't. Some of these dudes are making millions, bro. I mean, relatively underground. I mean, I don't know nothing about their music. I, I don't know nothing about Young Thug's music. But some of these dudes are making millions, and they still out there getting into getting into cowboy shit. Why would you do that, bro? And then you get dudes like Beanie, who I like Beanie. I actually like Beanie. I, I, I never understood Beanie's problem with Jay-Z, bro, after the split. He chose to go with Dane, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing is, Dane brought Kanye in, and Kanye went with Jay. So the dude that Jay brought in goes with Dame, and the dude that Dame brings in goes with Jay. You know what I'm saying? But I never understood Jay's problem, bro. But Jay, I mean, uh, uh, um, uh, um, Beanie's. But Beanie at this, you know, talking about this situation when he went to a concert, he was on the front row at a Jay-Z concert, booting him up and shit, and he's saying Jay-Z seen him, you know, and gave a signal, and security came, removed him and everything like that, you know? And he talking about he's a whole man, but I mean, but you the cowboy, Beanie. Everybody know you're a cowboy. Dude don't know what the hell you liable to do. First of all, why are you even at his concert? What point are you trying to prove paying to get up close to him on the stage just so you could boot him up? Why would you even do that, bro? I don't know for such a real nigga, but Beanie did some, you know, that Jay-Z situation. He did, he did some strange shit, but, but I guess that's just the effect Jay-Z have on niggas, bro. I think Jay-Z just one of them cats that just, that just, that make dudes, you know, that make dudes crumble into in, in, into something they can't even recognize, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. Because, I mean, I know I know Beans, you know, I know he's a solid nigga. I love Beans' music. But Beanie Siegel is a cowboy. And if I was Jay-Z in that situation, like where I'm at now, I would give a signal to to have that nigga removed because I don't know what the fuck he going to do. Because he don't care. He got nothing to lose. He's angry. He's bitter. He's liable to... He, He's liable to pull out and start letting off at me while in, in front of all these people because he don't care. He don't care about spending the rest of his life in prison. He he don't care. But man, you gotta be careful with people like that. Jay did right, in my opinion, bro. Y'all y'all say what y'all want. He did right, bro. You avoid. Look, when you reach a certain stage in your life, you start avoiding certain types of people, man. You just straight avoid them, bro, because it's not worth where they're gonna drag you. It's not worth it. 
And I'm not just talking about people like Young Thug. I'm talking about people like the dude that made the comment. Let me pull this motherfucker back up, man. Let me pull this nigga back up. I'm talking about dude that made the comment. What do you call himself? Chad Fox? We not gonna even talk about what kind of nickname is that, bro. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 gonna, we, we gonna excuse that. You know, Chad Fox. These kinds of dudes you avoid, bro. Because these dudes are bitter. They angry, but they got problems. You know, dude liable to do some man, try, try to make you, you know, pull you off your square to see how far you gonna go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just to get you in trouble. He win anyway it go. If he hurt you, he win. You hurt him and go to prison, he win. Man, you gotta avoid people like that, bro. Jigga doing right, man. He move. Jigga moved like, 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 like the smart ballers move, bro. I'm telling y'all, he's, he, he is relatable to people like me. I understand him because I move like that. I move like that, bro. So, man, I mean, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be labeled this too long. I'm not gonna drag it on, bro. I just really wanted to come back and do a second one. Just, just talking about the follow-up with these dudes making comments like glorifying street life, glorifying destroying the black community. Pook is not your problem. I did the video already. Pook is not the problem with the black community. Pook is a symptom. Men like me and the shit I had to do coming up, man, that's a symptom. I'm not the problem. You know? And I hate when y'all talk about like we just chose to go out there. I've been shot twice, bro. Stabbed once. You think I chose to go out there and do that shit? Nobody choose that life, bro. You step off into that lifestyle, man, if, if, if you can handle that. That's really what it's about. If your stones are cut like that, bro, then you step out like that. If you ain't cut from that cloth, you won't go out there. Certain dudes know they could they could never do that. So they sit back now in, 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 a, in a position of righteousness and talk about how we destroying the black community. Man, get out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all niggas are the reason why the black community is destroyed. Because all you niggas really want to do is get away from black people and, and live vicariously black. Because you can't go nowhere else. You're boxed in by white supremacy or, or, or white white systemic society. So 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 you sit there and you act like you, you love black people so much when your only wish is to get away from black people altogether. You dudes make me sick, bro. You dudes make me sick, man. Real talk, bro. Look, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna ramble on it because I got other work to do. I got another video to actually get up. So I'm gonna work on these other videos. I, I, gotta, I gotta do the thumbnails and shit. That's what take the most time, them thumbnails, man. So I hope y'all appreciate my thumbnails because, you know, them graphics ain't easy to do. That's time consuming, you know what I'm saying? But I'm about to get out of here, man. Before I go, if you want to chip in, uh, remember, the best support you can give uh, right now is just a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the bell icon. That, that that's, that's great support. The next thing you can do, you know, you can send a brother five bucks, you know what I'm saying? Venmo, the Black Alpha. Cash App at the Black Alpha. PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com. You know, five bucks, you know what I'm saying? Help me get equipment, you know what I'm saying? Help, you know, help me stay balanced. So, 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 so this passion don't become a burden, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm about to start fighting um, certain cases on behalf of men. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get the funds together to start fighting these child support cases. Not so much because um, I like dead be dads or nothing like that. that that's, that's not what it's about. But child support is broken. And we need somebody to fight this stuff a certain way. I've heard other attorneys talk about it. Nah, what, I want, what I'm going to do will work. But I need filing fees. I, 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 I need money to do the research. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot, just a little. But everybody who pitch in, you'll get to see me work in real time. Because everything I do, I'm going to let y'all see it. See, one thing about me, man, I'm not here to make money. So everything I do, I'm going to expose it to you so you can see it happening in real time. You know, but y'all got to help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to get behind this reel. This is the realest channel on YouTube, man. Look, I'm a dude that actually did what I talk about. Again, Jay-Z gave a challenge. Do what I did in the environment in which I did it in without dying, my nigga. I did that. And then not rap, but I say talk. And then talk like I talk, and then tie them all together like I am, my nigga. I'm doing that now. I'm doing that now. See, I can actually talk it because I actually walked it. 
I can take that challenge because I did what he did in the environment in which he did it in and I'm still alive. And I can talk this talk without telling a single lie. I can talk about women without telling a lie. I can talk about business without telling a lie. I can talk about society and, and, and street hustling and all these things without telling a single lie. I am what y'all need on YouTube right now. I just hope y'all recognize it. On that note, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call I'm gonna call it a day. You know what I'm saying? I think that's it. You know? Like, share, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, donate, Venmo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, PayPal, real black alpha at gmail.com. And the Patreon is at Black Alpha, and that's coming soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on these next projects. Till next time, I'm out of here, I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. Salam. So